Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be reacting to another body cam video. Um, this is entitled Driver Skips the Line and Gets Instant Karma. So, um, I guess, well, from what I see, uh, the police are already there. But maybe they did something right from the police. But also, um, sometimes these videos, they show like a preview in the beginning. So this could also be like later in the video, I don't know. But um, disclaimer, if you couldn't tell by the title, um, this is a reaction video. If you can tell by the thumbnail, it's a reaction video. So if you want to watch the original video, you can go to the original video. Thanks. Um, let's get into this video. And um, please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to in the comments below. Deputies were working a traffic crash when they suddenly encountered a woman who felt she was above the law. Oh boy, that didn't work out too well. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No! Oh. I don't care! The answer's no! So... Um, apparently this is not a preview of what happens later in the video. It's right happening right now. Um, so I guess there's like a little backup with traffic because they're trying to move the cars after an accident. And this lady uh, right here, uh, she's trying to drive around it by, I guess, driving on the wrong side of the street. I like how this lady in the car, she's not listening and she probably doesn't even care what the officer is saying. So, um, I understand, um, the title of the video, <laughs> entitled Driver. I don't care. We got blue lights and people's safety for a reason. Put your car in park. Okay. Stop her. Yo, stop. Hey, and she's driving away. Uh uh. I'll be there. She just drove. So now you're leading the police to um your daughter, and your daughter is gonna see you get arrested. And then she parks, and this is where she parks, all up on the grass. What? Get in the car. Sit down. My daughter. Sit. She is not. Li oh my gosh. <laughs> she does not care about the police officers being there. Right down. here, waiting for me. Sit down. Oh my Give me a driver's Sorry, license, baby, registration, and proof of insurance. She's just on the phone. They blocked it off and I was trying to get to the cell and I got here. She's not freaking it's here. It's related to that. <coughs> Look, there, my daughter. Okay, right sit there. down. My daughter's right there. I don't care. I was sit trying to get down. to my daughter. Dude, it's blocked off. Sit and down and give me your driver's me. license. Now. I don't have it with me. It's at the house. Oh my don't, gosh. Don't get involved. Wow, making things worse. You're driving a car and you don't have your license with you? Wow. Don't get involved. That's I get it, but don't get involved. Don't get involved. Get off the phone. Wait. So, if you were stuck in traffic or whatever because there was an accident and they were trying to like fix the situation, or whatever, and you live so close, but I guess your family member is also here, that means they were close enough to get your daughter for you. So, like, you could have avoided this whole situation just by calling someone and telling them to get your daughter. Uh, nothing, none of this makes sense to me. I don't care. I was trying you to are stopped for a lawful reason. How was it? It wasn't even blocked off. And she doesn't you even have her driver's license. Out of the street. You guys were blocking all the way to 75. Yeah, why do you think we're doing daughter? that? There was, it was nothing blocking. It was a traffic crash. Okay, was you disobeyed a, this Okay, way. I'm not arguing with you. She's not listening. You don't have a driver's license? Dang, or? imagine this is how she talks to a police officer. How does she talk to people in her real life? I have a driver's license at home. That's what What's I'm trying to say. What's your name? I'm not saying that. Okay. She it comes back to a jail or something. If you want my She's driver's license, okay. You want it or you need to take it? So you can take it. All right. Come out. Your kids are in the 
Turn around. This is not the way you should have handled this. I don't need to be arrested. Okay, and that's not even a good excuse. If you want my information, my um, driver's license is at home. So either you tell them and they know your information or either they look at your driver's license and get your information. But either way, they're going to know your information. So why why make it harder? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my driver's license. I was trying to get my daughter. And now she's watching you get arrested. Do you have anything in your pockets? Yes. What do you have? I don't know. This whole thing could have been avoided. Like when the cops pulled up um, on her when she's all up on the grass, um, she was on the phone. So why not just call your family member in the first place to pick up your daughter if it was that big of a deal? Like, I don't understand. Okay, so for Florida statute, when we stop you, you have to give us certain documents and she's refusing. <clears throat> so unfortunately for her, that's violation. And and that's is that her deal. daughter? I don't know. So she probably should have listened to us a mile up the street and this wouldn't be happening. But she couldn't wait the five seconds it was going to take us to open up the road to come down here. And she came that far from hitting him. So now it's aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, which is a felony. So, and um, she fled the scene. Okay, can you call them and have them come pick it up? Took them on a mini car chase. No, 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 we're not giving her a ticket. No, no, no. Am I able to take the car? If she allows you to take the car, yeah. How are you going to get home? I live down the street. Are you going to walk back? Okay. If she allows you to take the car, then yeah, we'll let you take the car. Do we have a name for her yet? Because she's refusing. Is her name Jessica? Yes. Like, why would she deny her family member from taking her car? of it so <coughs> what obviously we've got driving around the barricade driving around the barricade and then she drove off on the street but i had to step back before so okay. she wouldn't run me over okay yeah, so i'll charge her with it yeah and then I what mean, refusing to give information oh she to wouldn't stop until i got up here i was doing almost 100 just to catch up to her would have taken a lot less time had you just stopped mm. then you wouldn't be in this situation and this is how she talks right to, to police, police officers. Officer I really wonder how she talks to people in real life. Okay. Her coworkers or whatever. So again, why is she being okay. arrested? Let me walk you through this. Please. Okay. Do. There's a massive traffic crash up there, right? We've had to direct traffic for over an hour, hour and a half. We shut the road down legally to get the tow trucks in so we could get the cars off the road in order to open the flow of traffic back up. Do you understand that part? Okay. She decided she didn't want to wait. Okay, come on. Drive faster. <laughs> I don't want that noise in my ear. And when I stopped her, she decided she didn't want to wait. Right? And I don't know what I'm talking about. So she drives off, almost runs over my foot, doesn't stop for him, and then speeds all the way up Carter Road. And then when he stops her here, she refuses to get her information. She refuses to say anything other than the fact that I had to go get my daughter. And when we legally stop you mm -hmm. for a traffic violation and you refuse to give your stuff, it's a violation of Florida State statute and she went to jail. So that's the only charge right now, violation of? Mm, no, she's probably gonna get a, uh, we're gonna watch the video and if one of us had to step back, she's probably gonna get an aggravated assault on law enforcement officer, which is a felony. Had she just waited five more seconds, I was getting in my vehicle and I was pulling off the side of the road. But because she couldn't wait and she went in the opposite lane of traffic, which could have caused an accident because the people that, that were coming off of Carter turning right onto Mox and Wallow have the right of way. She's in the opposite lane of traffic. And had she called it a traffic crash, a head on traffic crash, we'd have been towing her off in an ambulance. So we don't do things just to piss people off, right? We do things for safety of everybody involved to include us, to include the two people that were already involved in the traffic crash. And we don't have time for this, right? Had she just waited and stopped there? And, and I'm pretty easygoing, right? So when I ask you to stop, that's what I'm asking you to do. 
And don't give me this line of excuse. Everybody on that road has somewhere to be. I mean, it's been a busy road for a lot of years. When I ask you to stop and get out of the opposite <laughs> lane of traffic, we have a problem. And then when we come up here, so, oh, everything she's saying makes sense. So I hope this excuse. woman so, understands. Unfortunately for her, better choices next time. But again, we don't. We had a lawful reason to stop that, and because she didn't think that she needed to wait, or that some of the road was opened up to get the, the traffic, the tow trucks in. Then yeah, and so that that's the whole story. The suspect was charged with resisting and cited for disobeying a police officer. She ended up pleading no contest and was sentenced to six months of probation. Consider subscribing to Crime Scene Cam. Okay, so that's the end of the video. But, um... Dang, like... People are so impatient. And, um, like I said earlier, if it was such a problem that you didn't want your daughter to wait, you wanted to pick her up, you were on the phone anyway when he pulled up so why not just call the family member because they live so close to where your daughter was so why not just have them pick her up pick her up if you thought it's gonna be a longer wait i don't understand but um anyway that is the end of this video thanks for watching please subscribe let me know what else i should react to in the comments below and if you want to see my experiences in korea you can check out my first time on sex tv and if you want to see my other socials it's right here under my face thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye